Today we will be learning permutations. So this is actually an extension from the combinatorics lesson. And permutation is basically the number of ways of choosing events when order matters. Okay, so let's say that we are, actually, it's, I, I've said events here, but it can be anything. It can be like people, it can be balls, it can be cars. So let's, I'll give you an example. So let's say we have a student body Actually, not student body. Let's say there are a, a 100 athletes. 100 athletes. And how many, given that all, each of these athletes have equal chances of winning a tournament, how many possible first place, second place, and third place So how many combination of first place, second place, and third place is possible with a group of 100 athletes? Okay, so this for this event, the order does matter because let's say we are choosing um, athlete A, athlete B, and athlete C to be first place, second place, and third place. That is clearly different from choosing athlete B, athlete A, athlete C to be first place, second place, and third place. Even though we've chosen the same three athletes, we've chosen A, B, and C. When the order changed here, the, the value of our choice is actually different. Because for this choice, B is first place, and for this choice, A is first place. So we can't really say that our choice here and our choice here are the same, right? Because each, not only does it matter who we chose, but it also matters where we chose each of our options to be. It's different of where we're choosing, if we're choosing them to be in first place, second place, or third place. And if we switch the order here, it's gonna be a different choice. This is a different choice this is a different choice from this choice here. Okay, so this is uh, what permutation is. The way we choose things, um, the, act the order actually matters the way we choose things. Okay, so how can we find all the possible combination of three athletes to be first place, second place, and third place, given that we have 100 athletes to choose from? Okay, so Permutation is actually not that hard if you understand the concept. Think of this as being three slots, where this is first place, this is second place, and this is third place. And we can start choosing from the first place. If we have 100, whoa, I don't know what happened there. All right, if we have 100 choices of athletes, how many, uh, possible choices are there for first place. Well, we've said that each of these athletes have equal chances of being first place or, or of winning the tournament. So there's a total of 100 possibilities for our first place. Okay, and then how about for second place? Well, keep in mind that once we are choosing second place, we've already chosen who's going to be in the first place. We don't know who it's going to be, but we have chosen one person here. So when we're choosing second place, we only have 99 athletes to choose from. Okay, and it can be any of those 99 athletes that are left. All right, because we've already chosen first place, we have one less person to choose from for the second place. And for third place, we've chosen first place and second place. So we've chosen th two people already. So that means that leaves us with 98 athletes for our third choice. Okay, and 
Like I've said on the combinatorics lesson, if we have 100 choices for the first slot, 99 choices for the second slot, 98 choices for the third slot, uh, the way we find all of the possible combinations of those three slots is going to be just the product of those. Okay, so we just multiply 100 times 99 times 98, and that's going to equal 970,000. 200. So there are 970,200 options of choosing three people to be first place, second place, third place from this group of 100 athletes. Okay, so this leads us to a general formula for permutation. So the way you notate permutation is like this. We have a subscript N, a P followed by a subscript R. And here the N means the total number of options. And the R here I guess you can call this the number of, whoa, the number of chosen events. Okay, so if we're if from a group of, previously, from a group of 100 athletes, we've chosen three athletes to be first place, second place, third place. So using this notation, you can notate that as 100 P, Actually, these numbers are too far apart, yeah, like that. Okay, and what does this equal? Well, when we did with 100 athletes, choosing three people out of 100 athletes, remember we've done 100 times 99 times 98, right? So we've multiplied the factorial of this number this many times or up to this many times, right? We've multiplied the first three numbers for the factorial of this number. So if you think about it, let's say if we had 100 factorial, meaning if we had 97, 96, all the way down to one, we've divided this part out. We've divided this part out and we've we've just been left with this part right and if you think about this part that well this part was just the the original number minus this part right this was 97 factorial so the way you notate this it is that we had 100 factorial divided by 97 factorial and if you do this you're just left with the The three numbers okay so and as a general formula if we have n total number of options and we're choosing r event from that option so n p r is going to equal n factorial divided by n minus r factorial this would be the general formula for finding permutations. Okay, and we can use this formula on any other events. Let's say we're choosing from a group of from a group of 50 students. How many possible ways, uh, how many possible ways are there of choosing a president, one president, and one vice president. And the key for permutation is that order, order matters. So when you see a word problem, you need to first think, does the order matter or not? If you're choosing one president and one vice president, you could think of this as first place and second place. 
and if you're choosing student A here and B here, is that different from choosing student B here and A here? Yeah, it's going to be different because the first place and second place are different. So it depends um, on which student you put on first place. So choosing A as president and B as vice pre president is different from choosing B as president and A as vice president. Okay, so we're using permutation here. And you can think of this as a total, you're choosing two students, one to be president, one to be vice president. So you can notate this as a permutation like this. You're choosing 50 from a group of 50 students. You want the permutation of two students, all right? You're choosing two students from that group. And that's going to be 50 factorial over 50 minus two factorial. And that's going to equal 50, oops, 50 factorial over 48 factorial. And convenient things with factorials is that you can just cancel a whole bunch of things. So 50 times 49 times 48, etc. Let me erase this so that I have some room here. And then the denominator is going to be 48 times 47, etc. This 48 part is going to cancel from here. Right? So that's going to equal just 50 times 49. And that equals 2,450. So there are 2,450 possible choices if you're choosing two students, one to be president, one to be vice president, from a group of 50 students. Okay, so this is permutations.